Santa Monica Real Estate 2022 quarter one. We're about to get into the numbers where the truth is, and you're going to find out by the end of this video where the Santa Monica market was, is, and where it's going so you as a buyer, seller, or investor can be successful no matter what turn or change this market might be throwing at us in 2022. What's up everyone and hope everyone is doing fantastic welcome back to the channel i'm eric haas with exp realty if you are joining me for the first time i'm super stoked to have you here with me because we're all about analyzing these numbers so you can have the absolute truth about what is going on on these west side neighborhoods in los angeles and we're about to get into the santa monica numbers but before we do so if you could give a like a comment and subscribe that'd be totally awesome keeps me motivated and dialed in to make sure i'm delivering the utmost value to you guys on a weekly basis so let's jump right into these santa monica numbers so we can exactly see what quarter one 2022 is saying about the market and how it's been progressing or digressing compared to quarter four of 2021. And if we look at it right now, the number of listings, number of pennings, and the number of solds, we've got 36 currently available for sale. Number of pennings, there are 24 under contract, and we've got 56 homes that sold in quarter one. Now that is actually down 31% from 90 in quarter four, 2021. Now, based on that 90, I can safely assume that the number of listings in quarter four, 2021 was substantially higher than that 36 but as you can see the number of solds is definitely dwindling to the degree as i mentioned of 31 percent meaning that it's going to be harder and harder for buyers to find a property at the end of the day all right guys let's have a look at our median active our median pending and our median sold price for quarter one versus quarter four of 2021 and you're going to see right off the bat that i don't have anything in these columns but we're going to get that changed up once we compare quarter one 2022 with quarter two of 2022 but without further ado our median sold price is actually up 11 percent for santa monica from 3.5 million in quarter four 2021 to now 3.9 million for quarter one 2022 however if you have a look at our median pending price you're going to see a little bit of a discrepancy between that median sold of 3.9 and that 3.6 that is now our current median pending price these are homes that are going to be closing in the next 20 to 45 days so these homes will be definitely included in our quarter two report for 2022 santa monica and then we look at our median active price and i've said time and time again if our median active price is not in line with the median pending or the median sold which it currently isn't we're definitely going to have some sellers having some difficult times selling their properties but you have to bear in mind as well that santa monica is a neighborhood that has a price spectrum that is quite wide and varies. It's Santa Monica where you have Ocean Park, Sunset Park, where you can get in for a one, one, five plus. And then you've got North of Montana, which is looking at three and a half plus. That's just for dirt. New construction, you're pushing double digits at the end of the day. So that is definitely something to bear in mind. But as you can see, when we move forward in the slides, you're going to see Santa Monica is definitely uh, not quite with it when it comes to smart pricing, where buyers can definitely take advantage and scoop something up hot in Santa Monica, even in this hot seller's market. Moving forward into the next slide and the statistics, we've got average days on market and not a major change or shift. It was 36 days as the average is on market in quarter four, 2021. Now we're looking at 39 days on market as the average for 2022 quarter one and again not something to really be concerned with it's neither a pro or con for buyers or sellers alike but the next number definitely is as we look at the sold volume and a dramatic change with a 31 percent drop from 377 million in quarter four 2021 to now 259 million in quarter one 2022 so what does that mean well it's still going to be a great time to put your house on the market in Santa Monica if you're a homeowner thinking about selling. It's going to be a continued difficult time for buyers who are looking to buy their first or dream home as multiple offers are going to continue to be the norm and homes going over the asking price as well when homes are priced correctly. Now, based on that pricing your home correctly, we're looking at the sold price versus the original list price. Homes aren't necessarily automatically going extremely over the asking price in Santa Monica. 
particular homes are and those are the ones who price their homes correctly but as you can see there's only been a one percent increase in this original list price to the sold price so homes are getting now 99 percent of the original list price when selling and pricing their home correctly in quarter one 2022 now we've come to my absolute favorite slide as we take a look at the number of homes that went above the asking sold at asking and sold unfortunately below the asking price at the end of the day because this my friends gives you a completely clear picture of what the trends are in santa monica when it comes to pricing your home whether it's correctly or incorrectly and as we can see right now the number of homes below the asking price for both quarter four and quarter one still is significantly higher than the number of homes selling above the asking price. And if we look at it more in depth, we're seeing in quarter four, 57% of the homes that sold in Santa Monica actually sold under the asking price. Now, while that has dropped 7% to 50%, that is way too high in a hot seller's market to see so many sellers selling under the asking price. So this again my friends it is maybe a balanced market for buyers and sellers alike sellers you definitely will win if you price your home correctly and again i'm going to say it and i say it in every single video there's no such thing as underpricing your home in this market just take my word for it i'm going to have some great examples at the end to just show you and justify that as well so make sure that you're watching the video till the end to see all these great examples of homes that started out probably thinking ah, that's a little bit low but then went above and beyond with their sole price and that's exactly what you want as a seller at the end of the day the number of homes at the asking price not much has changed we saw six in quarter four four in quarter one so roughly that's about seven percent of the actual solds that sold in quarter four and quarter uh, one were at the asking price now this is a good sign to see though the number of homes going above the asking price while it's at 24 and looks like it dropped from quarter four at 33 it's actually improving quite a bit because we actually saw only 37 percent of the homes going over the asking price in santa monica for quarter one excuse me quarter four 2021 whereas now we're actually seeing 44 percent of the homes in santa monica quarter one 2022 going over the asking price so again it's only going to become an even hotter market as long as sellers are pricing their homes correctly buyers though you can definitely jump in there because as you can see majority of the sellers are going under the asking price so those are the homes you definitely want to pay attention to don't always be looking for the next new listing to hit the market because that's every single buyer out there you want to pay attention to the homes that are getting price reductions even the homes that are slightly above your asking price could have reductions right into your asking price now and you wouldn't even know about it because you're so focused on the new listings to hit the market so be aware of those homes that are taking reductions and you will be in your dream home faster than you know it and a lot of the times another tip to this buyers aren't paying attention to homes that are being reduced so on that note you may actually find yourself being the only buyer interested in that property which gives you even more leverage at the end of the day so on that note my friends we are wrapping up santa monica it is still a strong market but it seems to be a balanced market where sellers and buyers can really duke it out where you can see sellers winning in the end with the price being right or buyers winning in the end when price reductions are happening and seeing homes going even below what they were reduced in the first place so if you got any questions please make sure you comment below i'm more than happy to help out any way i can whether it's responding or actually creating a video to answer your question make sure you give me a like as well and if you haven't already love for you to subscribe as you can see i deliver value like nobody's business so you have the full complete understanding of what the santa monica market is doing right now and where it's going for 2020.